Hi, Leo. How are you? Deanna here, Intuitive D1111. I hope you all are well. This is for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, as well as North Node placements in both Vedic and Tropical Astrology. I utilize both. Let's go ahead and see what messages come through for you, okay? Um, and do me a favor, if you do enjoy the video, please hit the like button as well as, as, well as subscribe. It'll help my small channel to grow more people to see the videos, and then you guys can see your other natal chart placements as they upload, okay? All right, so what messages do we have coming in for the Leos that are watching this video? What do they need to know? What do the Leos watching this video need to know? Got the star card, okay? So a lot of you guys could be in the public eye. You could uh, definitely be doing something in your life where you're meant to excel. So there's something that you're doing where you're meant to be on display, whether it's an actual stage, like you're an artist or you're a singer or an actress or actor, or, you know, whether it's, you know, you're meant to be on YouTube or you're meant to have, um, you know, a, uh, I don't know, cooking channel, <laughs> something random that I, that I heard. I don't know. There's something you're supposed to be doing where you're supposed to be in the public eye, right? And I feel like you have the energy uh, where you're assisted. You have a divine assistance right now is what I'm hearing for you, Leo. So a lot of you guys, I mean, quite frankly, you are stars, like period is, is what I'm hearing. Like that you are meant, especially if you're a Leo rising, you're meant to be in the forefront, Okay, <laughs> the four of cups, but it wanted to come out like this. So you, some of you guys are not sure whether or not you should um, take someone's offer or not. I mean, look at how she's looking at Lord Baelish's cup. She's like, eh, like, I already know you're, you know, she's like, I already know that you're a manipulative, you're a liar, you do whatever to get what it is that you want, which is what he is. And it's, he's, you know, he's plays a magician in this deck, but he definitely was like that in the show. So some of you guys are on the fence about taking an offer, be it in love or work, because you're not sure if you can trust the person that's given the offer, quite frankly. Um, what else? Woo, there you are, the sun card. Yeah, some of you guys, it's like you have, um, this is the happiest card in the deck, so you're going to be happy. You're going to have beautiful things coming in for you. I think you're going to get clarity behind a situation in the past where you could have felt rejected, or you could get clarity that with someone coming back is still not coming back with the right intentions. So, um, I mean, you might block this person or reject them because you're putting your own happiness first. Yeah, Page of Wands communication coming in. What else? Or this could even be a new idea coming in. Yeah, Page of Wands again, heavy emphasis on that. So there's some type of communication um, or some type of like passion project or something that you are going to be successful on like or with if you act on it. Why is this Four of Cups here? The Two of Swords. Okay, so some of you guys are needing some direction on which path to take. Because for some of you, you could be feeling a little bit like bored or apathetic with your work, or you could even be feeling bored in matters of love. Like maybe you have, I mean, with the star, you have options that you most likely don't even see. You're like, oh, okay, well, you, I th no one's coming towards me. I feel you intimidate a lot of people, whether you realize it or not, because you're beautiful, you're handsome, whoever you are, you have a, you know, like amazing healing energy about you. People love to be around you, but you know, not everyone's used to being in that energy, right? So they know they have to come correct. So we have the justice card and the sun card here. So for some of you guys, if you're waiting on any type of legal contracts, I feel it's going to be in your favor with the sun card here. For others of you, it's like you're receiving, um, you know, a, a, a good karmic reward, you know, for what you've gone through in the past and how you've behaved in different situations in the past. For others of you, someone you're dealing with is receiving karma because, um, you know, they kept you in limbo between you and somebody else. They wouldn't make a decision. Yeah, played mind games with the five of swords. They could have been manipulative. Um, or for some of you, this is also a caution for you to not sabotage something good that's coming in, um, you know, Believe that you deserve great things is what I'm getting here. So can we clarify the star and the page of wands for whoever is watching this? <laughs> the star and page of swords. Okay, yeah. So the page of wands, page of swords, someone is watching you, someone that could be immature with their communication. 
um, a little bit petty at times. Some of you guys could be dealing with an Aquarius, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, heavy on the Libra here, another Leo, and then this is Aquarius again. So yeah, either there, there's someone that's watching you. They're trying to see what you're up to because they see you as their wish fulfillment with the Ten of Cups, right? They feel like this is what they can have with you, Leo. <laughs> I don't know how you feel about them because I'm seeing two pages here, right? I'm still trying to see where the kings are <laughs> or the queens, right? Um, but this also very well could be you guys, you know, gathering the information and the resources you need to get a new project off the ground or a new way of doing things with your career, you know, um, whether it's self-employed or whether it's through a company and making making that happen, Okay. Clarify the Two of Swords and the Four of Cups, please. What is this? It's like the Nine of Cups. Yeah. <sighs> so for some of you, this person is like they, um, you could have been dealing with someone selfish. It's like they wanted their cake and to eat it too, is what I'm getting with this Nine of Cups. Because yes, this is about emotional fulfillment, but in a love reading, it's still more of a singular energy. Um, for others of you, it matters a career. I feel like, you know, whatever it is that you are going to be learning new or developing or trying to do differently, um, you're going to feel emotionally fulfilled with it. Um, after you finally make a decision on what to do to get out of, you know, this whole bored energy when it comes to your career. Yeah, you guys are going to be manifesting with the magician card here. Why is the sun card and the justice card here for the Leos watching this video, please? Why is the Sun card and the Justice card here for the Leos watching this video? Oh, the Leaves. Um, the Two of Coins, but it was in reverse. So I, this is really up in the air energy. This is like the Two of Coins in reverse. It's like someone's going to be forced to make a decision is what I'm hearing. So if there was something going on, with, like where there was an option or a choice that needed to be made in matters of love, the choice will be made. And whatever choice is made will be the right choice with the justice card here is what I'm getting. Yeah, eight of wands. So someone wants to move forward with communication. Some of you, they're dropping somebody else and they finally want to come in and offer love to you. And you don't see this coming with the moon card. I would love to say this is a new energy, but ah, uh, looks like it's past me. Um, for some of you guys, you're going to have some type of online communication um, or some type of business that you're going to be doing online that's going to be successful. Like Knight of Cups and career readings, you would want that. That's something that you enjoy. Um, with the moon card here, you could be using your intuition. Or um, this is something that's hidden from you as well. That the fact, what what's hidden from you? The fact that you're going to be very successful with the Six of Wands. Another card of being in the spotlight. So who are you guys? Because you guys are, I mean, you're, you're pulling very successful energy. So just know that. I know you're like, I'm a Leo, of course. Well, there you go, right? Because that's your energy right there too. Yeah, someone is watching you guys. Who is this person? Oh. I said, who is this person? I saw Trader. Don't let this Trader back in. Ten of Swords, for some of you I'm hearing it's done. It's done done. They got something to say to you. Could be a little bit angry. Who is this? A Gemini, Libra, Aquarius? Uh, immature energy? I don't know about that. You guys might need to keep on waiting for new. I feel like, um, what do you have going on right now in your chart? In Aquarius right now, which is your house of partnerships, you have Jupiter and you have Mercury. So yeah, I mean, mercurial energy is typically a younger energy. So you could be attracting a younger um, person towards you, Leo. Um, however, with Jupiter being in Aquarius right now in sidereal astrology, it's not going to be on this type of energy, okay? It's going to be... Um, it's going to be a blessing. Like it's going to be Jupiter brings that abundant, expansive, um, light hearted, you know, like th that amazing, like Genesee Qua type energy. So that person, wait for that person. But this energy right here, they might just have to keep on watching. <laughs> okay. So if this resonates, please let me know. Hit the like button. If you want a personal reading, I still have um, a few of them available. The link is down below. All right. Love you guys. Bye, Leo.